Google Earth has a few more default icons than Google Maps has. We've got uh, these letters and numbers. What we can do is put them into Google Earth as I've done here. And then we can drag them, uh, on, we can import them onto the desktop by going to Save Place As. I'm going to give it a name, Markers, Google Red A to Z. And um, save it to the desktop. And here it is. So it saved it as a KMZ file. It's a pretty small file. It's only uh, it's tiny actually. And I'm going to go into Google Maps here, and we're going to bring that in to use those letters here in Google Maps. So I'll click on My Maps, get started with a new map, and I can go. Uh, this new map uh, is labeled untitled by default, but I'll go to import here and browse to that file we just uh, imported onto the desktop, this KMZ file, and then click upload from file. And here they are. And the file name has changed from untitled to the name we gave the file. Now I go back into My Maps. I can uh, create a new map. And with this new map, when I add a place mark, not only do I have the uh, default icons. I now have these new icons under my icons. So I can change it. And when I place a new place mark, I can give it another name. Click done. Go to my maps. And you'll see I've got my new untitled map and those markers that I dragged in. And they're down here. As long as they're anything down here, they, um, these files can share their custom icons with each other.